Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico, a very magical place on the planet. Um, today's topic is going to be, we're going to talk about guides and angels. We all being uh, guided by the inner voice um, depends how tuned in we are within ourselves. The, the more you get in, tuned in, the more you become available for the inner voice and the less you pay attention to the mind chatter because the mind's going blah, 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 blah all the time. So, um, my uh, discovery of the um, guides, inner guides, angels, um, of course, all I can say is, it appears to be, it appears to be this way. It appears to be that uh, I'm protected or we're all in so many ways are protected, we're guided, we're taken care of and uh, we do receive our, uh, we do receive messages when we're tuned in. And then the guides or angels or uh, whatever entity is channeling through, they at times identify themselves to us as certain kind of group of beings or an individual um, depends depending on the person. Uh, but we have a tendency to um, individualize it. And when we hearing voices or we're connected to a being entity, um, whatever is the name of the entity, um, and uh, and it's good to be in tune and be guided and listen. But in the meantime, at the end of the day, it's also very important that it doesn't become an ego trip. Because I've seen for some people, it becomes an ego trip. My guide, my angel, my guide is telling me to do this. My guide is telling me to do that. I'm more special because I have my guide. So there's a tendency to uh, ego trip and take it very personal as if I am special and I'm better than other people and my guide is better than your guide. So you have to be careful with that. You have to be careful not to fall into that trap. Everybody's got guides. Everybody's surrounded by angels. If there is anything such as that. So it's not like I'm more special than anybody else. It's basically how tuned in you are into it. But also, let's look at it, that where is the source of all the guides and all the angel, angels? Where is the source of it? Where, what's their power source? Is their power source any different than your power source? You're having a guide guiding you through or um, being touched by the angels, 
but where is the source of the creation of them? Is it different than the source of your creation or everything else? Isn't it all coming from the same creator? So you kind of have to be careful not to fall into an ego trip because it's easy to fall, in, fall into that. And I always have to remind my people about it. Now, is there like, even though we're all a part of the grand consciousness, grand total consciousness, and we're all a part of the one, yet it appears to be that every one of us is a this different expression of the absolute. We look different, we smell different, we behave differently, we have likes, dislikes, we're different sizes, nationalities, colors, come from different cultures, and um, consequently, we're different flavors. And um, it's the same thing with the guides and the angels. They have different flavors. There's a different sense of the being. When for some reason you encounter with this aspect of existence. So, but let's not forget that they all come from the same source just like you and I. They're all manifestations of the same divine self. They're all different expressions of the absolute, like the way we are. It just happens that for some reason, you feel a resonance with a particular type of uh, guide, angel, and they're channeling through you. In my case, in 2009, I was contacted by being these beings identifying themselves to me as my fifth dimensional guides, fifth dimensional entities, beings that they were guiding me. But I also feel like I grew out of it throughout the years. I don't hear him talking to me in that way anymore, like the way it used to be. I feel the connection with the source, but it kind of, uh, lost that intensity of them identifying themselves to me as my fifth dimensional guides. That's kind of a blend. Maybe it comes back, I don't know. But um, whatever it was, it did its job in that, in that time. It definitely grabbed my attention and it did whatever it needed to do as that particular source of 5D guides. But then as time went on and I, and I, I grew and I evolved, um, I'm not even attached to that idea. So you kind of, Grow out of it, grow out of everything. And your, you, your concentration, your vision comes on the source, her majesty, the supreme being, that which is always here. 